Welcome, I'm Dr. Manny, Art Shed Brisbane, and I'll be talking in this second section about pre-stretch canvases as painting supports. All around the world nowadays, people are buying pre-stretch canvases, mostly manufactured in China, um, on which to paint their paintings. There are a lot of benefits to this, the principal one being convenience. Here's one by Monmart, straight from the shop. I simply pierce the plastic, unwrap it. It comes with protective corner pieces. And I'm ready to go. A lot of people wonder what these little wedges are for. If 15 years down the track, through changes in humidity and temperature, the canvas starts to sag, then you can use these wedges, insert them into the little holes that the stretcher bars have left here, tap them in and stretch out the canvas. Before we go any further, however, let me cover the features that you should look for in your pre-stretch canvas. Montmartre, their professional range has cardboard corners to protect the corners, which are the most vulnerable parts of your uh, canvas and could, uh, could be very prone to dents and, and, uh, and knocks. Another feature to look for is whether or not the canvas is bleached or unbleached. Bleached canvas looks whiter and cleaner, however, the material is more likely to be um, uh, damaged more quickly by atmospheric conditions. So always try and go for unbleached canvas if possible. Look at the weight of the canvas. Again, it's listed as uh, ounces or grams per square meter. The heavier, generally, the, um, the stronger the canvas is and the longer lasting it will be. Other important features are whether or not it's double stapled or single stapled and whether or not the corners are folded or cut. That means that as they're being stretched in the factory, for convenience and speed, some of the less expensive canvases are simply cut to the corner and folded um, more quickly. However, that may f cause a problem if ever you need to restretch the canvas. When you unwrap a cut corner canvas, you'll see notches cut into the corners that come right up to your painting surface. So go for folded or gallery style folds in the corners. Of course, if you choose a stretch canvas with staples down the side, unless you don't mind the staple showing when you hang the work up, then go for staples that are uh, at, affixed to the rear of the canvas. The other thing to look for is the type of timber. Almost all Chinese made pre-stretch canvases these days are stretched or strained on Paulonia timber, which is a very soft timber. It's somewhere between balsa wood and pine in its density and strength. Um, very good timber. There's nothing wrong with it. It's also very lightweight, which makes it easier for transportation. But in the longer, thinner lengths, is slightly more prone to war warping. Any timber can warp, even the most dense and strong, heavy uh, hardwood can, can warp because it's a natural substance and changes in humidity and temperature can affect that. But the, uh, the more stout the piece uh, of stretcher bar is and the shorter the length, the less likely that is to, to warp. Montmartre also produces their gallery linen range, which is primed linen stretched over a uh, a pine frame rather than their Paulonia. You pay a little extra for this, but it is their gallery or elite um, range. Just a couple of notes. You might see that some of the canvases are thin profiled and some are double thick profile. Of course, this one is a little more expensive than this one. But the other thing is that if you were to paint on this and hang it on the wall, it looks, it's just a visual thing, but a painting done on a thicker profile canvas can, especially if you paint the sides in a color that matches the color of the painting, 
it can hang ready to go and not really need to be framed, whereas this one would tend to really ache for some framing uh, to finish it off as a finished painting. Thank you.